Hey boys and girls, this book is called Manatees, and it's a National Geographic kids book. Manatees by Laura Marsh. <clears throat> this is an important feature of a nonfiction text. It is the table of contents. Table of contents tells you what chapters are in the book or what subjects are in the book and what pages they're on. So if you just want to find certain information, like maybe about how they swim, you could turn to Super Swimmers and go to page 10. You don't have to read the whole entire book. Um, so the table of contents is very important. It's an important feature of a nonfiction text and it tells you where to look for information. Who am I? I have whiskers, but I'm not a cat. I nibble on grass, but I am not a cow. I have gray, wrinkled skin, but I'm not an elephant. Who am I? A manatee. Mighty manatees. Manatees are mammals that live in water. They are sometimes called sea cows. Why? Manatees are gentle and they move slowly like cows. They also graze on seagrass, just like cows eat grass. Manatees are big. They are usually about 10 feet long. That's as long as two kids' bikes lined up end to end. Manatees are heavy too. Most adult manatees weigh about 1,000 pounds. That's the weight of about 21 second graders. Super swimmers. Manatees can move their large bodies gracefully through the water. They swim upside down and roll. They even do somersaults. Manatees don't like water that is too deep. They like to stay in shallow water in oceans and rivers. There, they find food and warm water. There's all the manatees lying in the water. A manatee body is built for living in water. And this is an important feature of a nonfiction text. It's a picture with captions or labels that are pointing to different parts of the manatee. Eyes, they are small, but manatees can see well, even in cloudy water. Nostrils, manatees breathe air through these holes, but they close tightly underwater. Lips, they are big and strong. They wrap around plants and pull them into the manatee's mouth. Flippers, they help steer the manatee. They also bring food to its mouth. And tail, it is large, flat, and round at the end. It moves up and down to power the manatee through water. <clears throat> Munching on lunch. Manatees are herbivores. They eat plants for about six to eight hours every day. Manatees have no front teeth. They don't need them because they don't eat meat. Manatees have only large back teeth called molars, and the molars grind their food. Seven fun facts about manatees. They lose teeth all through their lives. New teeth replace them. The elephant is a distant relative of the manatee. Number three, fat in the mother's milk helps a young manatee grow quickly. Number four, they do not have eyelashes. Number five, bones in a manatee's flipper are similar to those in a human hand. Number six, they do not use their mouth to breathe. They only use their nostrils. Number seven, they have no natural enemies. Humans are their biggest threat. Big babies. And here's a picture right here with the caption. These young manatees are fed milk from a bottle. Without their mothers, they need help to eat. A manatee is called a calf. It is born underwater. Oh, a baby manatee is called a calf. It is born underwater. A newborn calf is about the size of a nine-year-old. The mother pushes the calf to the surface to take its first breath. Within an hour, the calf can swim on its own. Like other mammal babies, a manatee drinks its mother's milk. Soon, it learns how to find seagrass to eat. The calf must stay with its mother for the first two years. The mother teaches her calf how to live on its own. On the move, manatees do not stay in one place. They migrate. In summer, manatees can be found in many states in winter states.
In winter, most manatees return to Florida. The water is warmer there. So this is another feature of a nonfiction text. It's a map and it shows how they migrate back and forth. And there's pictures of manatees and it shows the arrows about where they go. And the orange part in the map key is areas where Florida manatees live year round, right here. And yellow is areas where Florida manatees travel in the summer. So sometimes they travel to other states. Manatees at rest. Manatees need rest like you, but they don't sleep like you do. They rest for about 15 minutes at a time. Then they need to come to the surface to breathe. Manatees sometimes rest at the bottom of the sea or river. They can also float near the top of the water when resting. Keeping manatees safe. There are many dangers for manatees. They are often hit by boats because they are big and slow and swim near the surface. Manatees can be heard hard to see in the sea. People also throw trash and fishing line into the water. Swallowing trash can hurt manatees. Fish line can get tangled around manatees so they can't swim. Manatees are endangered. There are about 5,000 Florida manatees left, but laws protect them. There are also special areas for manatees called sanctuaries. In a sanctuary, people can't disturb manatees. They can live safely there and raise their young. So they roped off this area right here and people are not allowed to go there. That's where manatees are safe from people. And you can see the swimmers, the divers. There's one right here and there's two right here. Stump your parents. Can your parents answer these questions about manatees? So these are questions that you can ask your parents about manatees. And here's some uh, glossary words. Endangered, at risk of dying out. Grazed, to feed in an area covered with grass. Herbivore, an animal that eats only plants. A mammal, an animal that has a backbone and is warm-blooded. It feeds its babies milk. Migrate to move from one area to another for food or to mate. Sanctuary, a safe place set aside for animals in nature. This has been a book called Manatees. I hope you liked it.